Okay guys, today I just want to give you a quick rundown on my opinion on Smith Optics. My favorite sunglasses, favorite company, they're really great and they're small enough to be responsive which is not what you can say about the other company that begins with the letter C. Anyway, Smith Optics, I've been with them several years and I try to give them a shout out whenever I can. I've had to upgrade a lot of my glasses lately. Let me just tell you that Going to the coast is the best way to figure out what's going on. And for me, doing a whole week in Port Mansfield, let me, let me show you kind of my thinking. I have four pairs of Smiths here, and to me that's not very many uh, compared to years past. First thing I'm gonna do with a Smith is get rid of that lanyard that comes on there, that one that fits in the back, temple, I think they call these. Get rid of that, I went ahead and just take some old fly line, loop it over, tie it, and glue it so that it's not coming loose. And when you use old fly line, you can use different colors and that'll let you look at a pair of sunglasses. If you don't see the whole glass, you can at least see the lanyard and know which pair it is. So that's why I do that. Plus there's no sweat absorption in the fly line and it just it's just lightweight and it just seems like the way to go. So you can see on these, that's exactly what I did. These are the newer models that had that crazy fitting back there, which for me, when I'm wearing a buff and all this other stuff, it does not work. So that's how I get around it. <clears throat> Even older Smiths like these right here, I drilled a hole in the side and went ahead and ran my fly line through there. That's how committed I am to the fly line idea and the fact that these other types of things wear out. So. There's a thing called VLT, and that's what you want to pay attention to. Visible light transmission. That's a number that Smith Optics gives you, and that's, a, that's on their website. When you're shopping, check your VLTs. The lower the number, the less light that actually transmits through the glass. A pair like this, I don't wear for fishing, I wear for driving. So these are great driving glasses. They're dark gray, polarized. Uh, they're glass, had them for years. Only time I wear them is when I'm, when I'm actually out and about and driving. So that's these right here. Great glasses, not even showing any signs of wear. Really, really good. So when I started doing all my upgrades, this is probably the, when really committed to Smith, this is the pair I got for fly fishing for carp here in North Texas. It is a copper, bronze, brown, and it's really a good uh, set of glasses, but high VLT number lets a lot of light in, so I was struggling when the, we get to the bright part of the day, and I, I, they were just letting in too much light. In other words, it's just too bright, and your eyes begin to fatigue. So that's that right there. Nice glasses, still clean. Always use a cleaning cloth and you know some kind of cleaning uh, glass cleaning like the Zeiss optics cloth and Zeiss cleaner. So that's where I was. wasn't too satisfied, but I still needed something that was that would do North Texas more than anything else. So I went to these rose colored. These are like their top of the line, low VLT. I think it's like still like 14 which to me they can get too they can let too much light in at the peak of the day too but for low light situations this is a rose color and these guys are pan panachromic panchromatic <laughs> I say that three times bad in other words they change they darken as it as it gets brighter outside and they lighten up as as it gets darker so early day early morning or overcast killer glasses right these are killer and what I did before I left was I went shopping on the Smith site and I was looking for something that I could do for salt water and shallow salt water in the Texas Gulf Coast these guys this is a green and it's got a it's got a little bit of a, a shift in it from top to bottom from brown to green and the back side is gray VLT is 11 on these. These aren't their most expensive glasses, but it doesn't let in much light at all. These glasses are what you want for fly fishing and sight casting 
in shallow water on the Texas Gulf Coast and this is the bright day, bright sunny day glass right here. What it does is it, it gives you a total color shift to green. So everything it looks a little green underwater, but you can see when I was out, out we were actually out uh, running a boat, a uh, boat along the surf, and I could see nine feet down to the bottom with these on the on the surf side. So we were out in a uh, panga skiff and looking down and right past the breakers about 200 yards and you could see the bottom these are spectacular okay really really great and very affordable this is just a polarized with uh, plastic lens I'm still kind of onto the plastics because they weigh a lot less than the glass and I'm not into a whole lot of layering in my glass being a photographer I know what that means fewer, the fewer layers the better so, start off your day on the Texas Gulf Coast with the rose colored before the sun's up and as the sun's peaking or if you got clouds to start your day, which we had rain, we had clouds, we had all that. I wore these probably as much on that trip as I did the greens. These guys <coughs> do the job when the sun's not too bright and just blistering down on you. These are really great. As the day gets brighter, shed these, put them away safely, carefully, clean them, and then put these guys on and finish your day. You can go from the, the, the brightest days, uh, like I said, I think it's 11 VLT, which is just very little light being transmitted. Great glasses, Smith Optics. Shout out Smith, love you guys. Appreciate all of the glasses that you've uh, helped me purchase over the years. and. If you guys have any questions or any comments about which color sunglasses you like or what, what you think you might need for a different situation, feel free to contact me. You can email me, texasflycaster at gmail.com. You can call me, 940-380-0408. Or make sure you check out the written stories on sunglasses that are on www.texasflycaster.com thanks for watching guys i'm getting hoarse i'm talking so much and you know how that goes so thanks for watching have a great day have a great week and be sure to subscribe to the texas flycaster youtube channel or visit texas Flycaster.